Be sure to remove the jacket to the dimensions defined by the cable accessory manufacturer. Apply the spring clamp to the cable jacket at the defined dimension. Use the waxed twine to make a square cut on the jacket at the edge of the clamp. Hold the twine at the ends and pull back and forth. The movement of the twine causes friction, which builds up heat, which easily cuts through the jacket. This method ensures no damage to the neutrals underneath the jacket. Set the blade on the set blade knife to cut three-fourths of the way through the jacket. Make two longitudinal scores one half inch apart. Use needle nose pliers to pry up the ends of the jacket and remove. Pull the jacket apart up to the square cut and remove. Make a mark on the cable jacket at the defined dimension. Press the quick release button on the lever and open the QC1 to its maximum jaw opening. Place the QC1 two inches down the cable from your mark. Squeeze the tool jaw against the cable. Press the quick release button and lower the lever until it comes in contact with the upper jaw. Properly secure the clamp to the cable by turning the lever clockwise. Position the WS64U at the end of the cable and adjust the blade depth by turning the knob counterclockwise in the direction of the arrow to lower the blade depth or clockwise to raise it. Set the blade so it is approximately 1 32nd of an inch above the neutral wires found below the jacket. Begin removing the jacket by applying a slight downward pressure while rotating the tool around the cable in a clockwise direction. Be sure that the blade of the tool is not making any contact with the neutrals. When the tool reaches the clamp, it will automatically make a square cut. A square cut can also be made by stopping the tool's forward motion with a gloved hand. Make a mark on the cable at the defined dimension. To ease the rotation of the tool, a thin coating of silicone grease or talcum powder may be used on the surface to be removed. Set the blade to the correct depth by turning the blade adjustment dial. Each number on the dial indicates thousandths of an inch. The blade should be set to cut approximately 90% through the jacket. Set the blade lever to square cut, left position. Open the jaws of the tool wider than the diameter of the cable by turning the large knob. Position the tool on the cable with the arrow facing towards the end of the cable. This ensures that the tool spirals in the correct direction. Turn the knob until the tool fits snugly on the cable and the knob turns freely without tension. Do not overturn, this will damage the spring. Rotate the tool at least one complete revolution to complete the square cut. Slide the blade lever to the spiral cut or right position. Turn the tool counterclockwise, making sure the tool is moving toward the cable end. Remove the tool by turning the knob to open the jaws. Pry up the end of the jacket and unwind to the square cut. Make a mark on the cable at the defined dimension. Make a ring cut using the Tyco Electronics EXRM1004 ringing tool. This is a very sharp tool, so light pressure should be used. The ring cut should be made to go less than 90% of the way through the jacket, so you do not damage the concentric neutral wires underneath. 
Expose one of the concentric neutral wires and begin to pull back toward the ring cut. Take care not to break the neutral wire by over twisting or bending. Once back to the ring cut, remove the jacket, starting at the cable end, following the spiral made by the neutral wire. Fold the neutral wires back and handle according to the manufacturer's instruction. Make a mark on the cable at the desired dimension. Make a ring cut using the Tyco Electronics EXRM1004 ringing tool. This is a very sharp tool so light pressure should be used. The ring cut should be made to go less than 90% of the way through the jacket so you do not damage the concentric neutral wires underneath. Expose one of the CN wires for at least one and a half inches. Thread the exposed wire through the cross hole of the probe wrench. Ratchet the tool clockwise down the cable until the wire being pulled through the jacket meets the square cut. Unwind the neutral wire from the tool. Starting at the end of the cable, unwrap the jacket until you get to the square cut then tear. Fold the neutral wires back or handle according to manufacturer's instructions. Make a mark on the cable at the desired dimension. Make a ring cut using the Tyco Electronics EXRM1004 ringing tool. This is a very sharp tool, so only light pressure should be used. The ring cut should be made to go less than 90% of the way through the jacket, so you do not damage the concentric neutral wires underneath. Expose one of the concentric neutral wires for at least one and one half inches. Thread the exposed wire through the hole in the center hub of the neutral winder. Using both hands, roll the neutral winder down the cable maintaining steady pressure until the wire being pulled through the jacket arrives at the square cut. Unwind the neutral wire from the tool 